1st of March, and Craig, uh, we're actually indoors today. It's a beautiful day outside. This is really starting to get the excitement going for the cricket season. Yeah, it's well on the way now. Once the, you get the first fitness test up and running, you know, it's sort of the start of the season. So, um, yeah, the boys are looking forward to it. Now, behind us, we can see a lot of the players here are going through a series of tests this morning to, for pre-season, I guess. Just, is it, just to give you an idea of where they are as they go into the start of the pre-season? Yeah, it's just an indication for, for us and them to yeah, see where they are uh, fitness-wise. You know, they've been working very hard. Um, been in since 1st of November, four, t four days a week. So the fitness level should be very good. You know, um, be interesting to see what, what the results are like. And of course, over the course of the winter, they had a lot of input and the nutrition these days is so important to the players. And obviously, multi-power here helping out with this. It's something that you've worked very hard on to make sure the boys are in tip-top condition. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, multi-power have been fantastic. You know, the boys have been refueling and, you know, with multi-power, it, it, you know, it, it helps, definitely does help. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to see the results today or we'll show that. There's obviously different elements of fitness going on here with different types of testing from sort of speed, strength and agility as well. I can see some players are getting on with it a bit better than others. <laughs> yeah, there's, you know, everyone's, everyone's a bit different. Some people are better at things than, than others, but um, it's a, I think it's a fair all-round you know, test um, to see you know, where they're at and what they need to improve at. Slight change from your day, I guess. Yeah, when I first started, yeah, massive change. Um, I, I sort of came into the end of this. You know, we, we started doing this when I was coming towards the end of my career. But yeah, when I first started, it was just a couple of laps around the field and into the nets, and that was it. And how do, how do players take to it generally? I mean, you know, be, being more understanding of your own level of fitness, I guess that would help definitely during the course of a year when you're trying to perform on the pitch as well as, you know, yeah, in fitness absolutely. Um, you know, I don't think it was no coincidence that last year we, the boys were fit and you know, coming to the last week of the season, we could still have you know, won two trophies. So um, that's a testament to their fitness levels. Um, and you know, I think the boys realise it. There is there's a lot of money to be made now, and, and if they are fit and doing the right things and, and the top of their game, you know, there's a lot of money to be made. So all in all, how would you look at last season, and where might you be looking to take uh, Yorkshire this year? Yeah, it was a fantastic year last year. Um, obviously, it could have been a lot better. But you know, this year is going to be a little bit harder, I think. You know, we've lost a few players, with, uh, Jacques Rudolph, there's um, a lot of, be, lot of runs to be made up there. Um, you know, and counties are going to treat us differently as well, I think. They're going to you know, a bit more sort of focused or full on when they, cause they know what we can do. And so we've got to improve in every aspect of the game. So, um, and fitness is crucial. So hence what the boys are doing now. You can see that it's an all round the year game now because fitness is important to keep squads together so have the players at your disposal and of course some additions to the squad this year as well. Yeah, um, one major one, um, yeah, Ryan's come back so yeah, it's great to see him back. He's been superb so far this year. He's fitted in really well, um, helped the young lads. We've got some tremendous young fast bowlers here and, and Ryan's been there giving a little bits of advice here and there so he's been tremendous. It's always an important balance between experience and youth, uh, the youth exuberance and the keenness to maybe to get on with the game with the shorter versions. But that experience there will hopefully allow the players from your coaching staff and from Ryan's point of view to sustain their levels throughout the season and really focus when it matters. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, we have got, I think we've got the right balance at the moment, probably more erring on the youth side. But, um, you know, you've got experienced players like Ryan Seibold and Anthony McGrath rubbing shoulders with them, uh, it's, it's got to help them. We just mentioned there that cricket's a, a year-round game, and of course the World Cup's on at the moment out in India, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. Uh, managed to catch many of the games yet? Uh, I watched a little bit. I watched sort of Sunday's game. You know, um, it was tremendous effort. You know, they were winning it and losing it, and then to get a tie, it was like you know, so many emotions flying around. So, um, you know, I think um, a tie was a great result because it, it was a great game of cricket, you know. 338 runs to chase that down is tremendous no matter where you are so and in the summer of course India and Sri Lanka are touring as well all over the country as well as the test matches must be looking forward to having them on uh, on, on English British soil absolutely you know um, they always you know um, get a lot of support so um, you know, there'll be great atmospheres around the around the grounds this year when they play so um, yeah looking looking forward to that it should be a great summer Fantastic. Listen, Craig, a bit more work to do behind you there, but we'll let you get back to it. But uh, thanks very much for joining us. Pleasure. Cheers.